Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, January 20th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that's dated for the 20th of January, that doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment of your life. Yes. Um, also keep in mind that this is general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, I want to wish you all a very happy Martin Luther King Day. That is today. Um, I, I have to say, I'm getting a super late start <laughs> today. So my shirt is really quite, quite appropriate. Like I haven't worn this shirt in a long time and I was trying to figure out which shirt I wanted to wear and I saw it. I was like, oh my God, no, that's too perfect. I can't not wear it. It says, sorry, I'm late. My unicorn was sitting on me. <laughs> now, I don't know if it was because my unicorn was sitting on me, but I do know for a fact that I could not sleep last night. Like, I mean, granted, I was out. I, had, I went to a, a dinner party with some friends, and you know, I, we had like this big family meal, and so I didn't get home until fairly late. But I mean, even still, by the time I got home, I literally just like laid in my bed for like two hours, not able to sleep, which completely threw off my um, my timing, I guess. And then one of my roommates, he hasn't been able to sleep either. <sighs> It's just, it's, it's, I don't know, the, the energies have been, have been really intense lately, and it was a pretty intense weekend. I mean, I had to take the weekend um, to, like, really recover and recharge from last week, because last week was a big thing with my the passing of my friend's mom, so that took a lot out of me. Um, and so this weekend, it was just, I, I, and it's funny, because I wanted this weekend to be... Um, a little bit of a recharge but it's still like I, I the universe wouldn't wouldn't really let me completely chill which it was okay and I, I mean I, I had a good weekend it wasn't too exhausting but la last night not being able to sleep really kind of threw me off and I'm wondering if how you guys are doing because it's not just me um, so if you guys can't sleep either it's just these intense intense energies yes okay um, so let's get into the pre-shuffle here. Um, we have the Empress with the Eight of Wands. Yeah. And then the overall energy, you have the Six of Swords with the Hermit on the other side. Okay. So, hey, Virgos. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> Uh, but the thing that I'm getting here, I, I, I'm hearing a gestational period. I, I'm feeling like, because the first thing that I, I felt when I saw the Empress was someone or something, something is about to be given birth to. Someone is about to get birth, give birth. And now that I'm like sitting here channeling this, I'm hearing gestational period. Okay, so you're in the gestational period or maybe you've been in a gestational period. Um, and which has been a product or, or whatever is going to be given birth to here is a product of the the inner the soul searching that you've been doing the inner soul work um you know walking a path of solitude or at least like just being very um introspective okay and not just being introspective for the sake of saying who i'm being introspective it's like no <laughs> no you're like you're really going within or you've been going within and really working on healing and spirit saying even ex excavating right and so now it's like you're about to pop <laughs> you've been pregnant for a while and now it's about to flow it's about to emerge um and that's a really good thing i mean i'm not really getting anything else from that other than the fact that you know something Someone is about to give birth to something, okay? Um, <clears throat> a divinely guided, divinely orchestrated. These are things that I'm hearing when I look at that Eight of Wands. Um, yeah. It's really good. It's, really, it's like a really good, it's a really good energy. I mean, I, again, I'm not really getting too much from it. Other than the fact that I'm just, what I'm hearing is gestational period and someone's about to give birth to something. So maybe if you are actually like physically pregnant, congratulations you know you're about to have a baby but 
For others of you, this is more in terms of a life circumstance, a life change. It could be a career, it could be a change in direction in your in your life. It, maybe it's a relationship, who knows? Um, but whatever it is for you, ultimately, it is a result of um, intros introspection and inner soul work or, or or inner work. Okay, so that's good. That's really really good. Okay, I'm gonna give this one shuffle, and then we'll see what else we have for today. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, kids. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, January 20th, 2020. Thank you very much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm seeing purple for the collective. And you know what I just realized? It's 120, 2020. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to give this three shuffles here. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing, I, I, as soon as I finished the prayer, I saw purple. Okay, and you know, for me, purple represents higher wisdom, higher understanding, um, intuition, psychic ability, uh, your, your, your higher chakras. So your current, your, your current, <laughs> your third, <laughs> that was, that was a, that was a combination between third eye and crown, but your, th your third eye and your crown chakra, um, downloads are coming through seeking wisdom, seeking guidance. These are things I'm hearing also, um, in this gestational period, you may be in direct communication with your higher self, spirit, God, source, creator, the universe, however you, um, however you resonate with it and if that's the case it's like you're <laughs> you're it's almost as if you're like getting a download of the um the user manual <laughs> of this new life that you're living hey and you know what that actually makes a lot of sense because i've been going through certain periods where i've been getting triggered in ways that i've been very conscious of and i've been working on being conscious remaining conscious of those triggers or and what that represents for me and as I'm moving into this new paradigm, as I'm shifting into this new paradigm for myself, even because my life is shifting too, in subtle ways, but it, it, you know, it's all internal right now. Nothing has really come out to the surface just yet. But like we saw in the pre-shuffle, something is about to give. Like there's about to be some sort of birth, and it could happen really quickly. But for me, it's been I've been very focused on okay, how am I getting triggered here, and how can I heal this instead of just like reveling in it or being upset or blah blah blah, whatnot, whatever. It's like okay, I'm, I'm upset, I'm triggered, I know that. But but what does this mean for me? And, and really trying to work on mastering that as I shift into this new paradigm. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here for all of you guys in terms of that purple energy, okay? Higher wisdom, higher knowledge, higher understanding, integrating that into your physical existence right now. Very nice, very nice. Number two. And... Number three. Okay, jokey. Let's see what else we've got for today. All right, here we go. Monday, January 20th, 2020. Excuse me. Mm, ouch. Bear with me, guys. We'll get the message. We'll get it. Monday, January 20th. 20. Ouch. My finger. I... Anyway. <laughs> One more. I'll explain it in a second. Last shuffle here. Monday, January 20th. 2020. So... The cuticle on my thumb was peeling and it peeled down pretty far and now there's like this it's just it's it's sore and it's in this space uh, I mean I, I'm sure you, 
it's like you can barely see it but it's in this space where i keep hitting it and so that like keeps irritating it and keeping it from like true <laughs> like fully healing and it's just it's really annoying okay anyway okay overall energy we have the six of um the the knight of wands with the ace of swords okay um and then we have very interesting This is very interesting. We have the Nine of Swords, the Three of Swords, Judgment, Six of Wands. Judgment and the Six of Wands are both reversed. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is upright. Alrighty. Um, this is interesting. I kind of want to say that someone may be in an energy of um, allowing their fears to get the better of them. Maybe, which is interesting because that's what we were talking about over for the weekend. It's like, don't let your fears stop you. But that's not quite it either. What I, tr what I also feel like is with judgment and the six of wands in reverse here, I, I feel like this is a past energy. I feel like... I feel like you've reached some sort of victory already. You 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 reach some sort of higher awareness. Um and there's like a waiting period happening right now. Which makes sense because like I said in the beginning, you know, we have this like gestation, we're in this gestational period and um you know, we're just kind of like waiting for everything to come together. Um so I guess right now, the focus could be for you, well, as you're going through this period, the focus is kind of like on the heartbreak from the past, maybe? Things that are holding you back from, you know, oh, oh, okay, I'm getting it. So you have this victory on the way. You have this higher calling, this ascension, this judgment, whatnot, whatever. You have this coming. It's on the way. All right? But right now, spirit is... I guess spirit is throw, putting you through a period where you're needing to face your fears. There are Because there are certain elements that are getting in the way. And it's not that, that it's getting in the way. It's that it, because it just feels like... For lack of... I mean... I know I said it's getting, it feels like it's getting in the way, but that's, it. ultimately, it's a good thing. It's almost as if this period was planned for, which makes perfect sense. Divine timing, divine orchestration, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But you're in a period right now where you're letting go of, you're releasing a lot of fears, a lot of, a lot of the shit from the past, basically. Um, a lot of what could be holding you back from reaching this goal. It also kind of feels like this might be like some of the last, like a last minute purge or like the last level of purging before you start to reach that which it is you are like truly where, where it is you're going to because i really do feel like you're moving quite quickly with the knight of wands here especially with the ace of swords too it's like you're you're clear and concise you know what it is you want you know what it is you're moving towards there i mean i'm getting a level of victory from this ace of swords as well along with, you know, the Six of Wands and the Judgment and all of this. Yeah, exactly. And all of this is happening while you're keeping the balance and waiting for basically your ships to come in. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. And this card has been, this, this Two of Wands, um, Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles has been coming out in this way like this side of the card for some time now so yeah and and spirit just said again gestational period okay so whatever is happening in your life what right now whatever purging you are experiencing it's all leading you towards the birth of this new reality life and i'm hearing excitement i mean i maybe you might be really excited about it which is cool which is totally cool you know very nice Okay. Okay. I want to... Let's get some clarity here. Let's get into some clarity. Um, let's look a little deeper into this. You know what, though? I want to start... I'm going to start with the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. 
and it's interesting because it almost it he kind of feels like something it might be holding you back and yet i feel i i feel like you're facing it so i feel like you it, it may have held you back in the past for sure but now now it's not now it, it's now you're in a position where it's you're facing it so that it can so that you can move through it you can move forward with it hold on one second guys i have to pause okay sorry about that all right so what i was saying was basically oh gosh and now i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> anyway <coughs> excuse me okay i feel like you're facing it now it's like you're you're in you're in an energy where you're feeling strong enough or confident enough to face some things like this um and to really push through them and move forward all right that's that's what i'm getting from that all right so i'm gonna give this two more shuffles here oh okay all right last one and then let's look at this nine of swords three of swords all right let's see let's look a little deeper here let's get a little bit the hanged man there it is change in perspective yep yes sir this is a good thing guys four of wands wow yeah i told oh my god yes the high priestess yes 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 there are those downloads with the five of pentacles okay all right overall energy is the knight of wands again look at that and it's crazy because i really do feel like you're really kind of powering through this for sure with this knight of wands coming out twice now okay um you have the five of pentacles you have the high priestess you have the four of wands and you have the hanged man so well this is just like i was saying so the four of wands is representing you having a, a, a foundation a really good foundation spiritually maybe you could maybe even say emotionally but this wands suit is more of like creativity and spirit but i am feeling like you do have a, a a strong emotional foundation in terms of being able to handle this stuff five of pentacles the hanged man five of pentacles is an old energy it's the outdated energy i'm hearing for some of you it's the it's uh, the energy of the patriarchy that has just helped to keep you down in certain ways um, but then you have here the high priestess which is representing those downloads and you see how she has in this card is depicted as you know there's this purple flow of energy moving down from your from like the crown from you know spirit down into your crown chakra um and it just flows through your body i'm really getting a deep sense of higher wisdom and higher understanding that's coming through with this okay literally facing your fears this is beautiful this is really really beautiful i do want to say that i love how the high priestess is depicted in this deck because if you look really closely if my camera will focus come on you do the things but anyway if you once once it actually focuses i hopefully you'll be able to see it but maybe you can see it now but her eyes are closed but at the same time you can still see her eyes behind her eyelids of course my camera doesn't want to focus now it's so freaking annoying man but anyway i just really love the way that's depicted so that's really cool okay um <laughs> Okay, so this is, but see, this is good, you guys. This is exactly what I was picking up on. You're in an energy of um, learning, seeing past through, through, seeing past the illusion, seeing through the lies, seeing deeper into. I heard seeing deeper into source material. That's really interesting. It's very good. This is a very much a deep sense of excavation here <clears throat> and i kind of i kind of want to say that i feel like you're gung-ho about it knight of wands all right i really do feel like you're pretty gung-ho about it even though there might be a sense of reluctance it might be something that you know is not something that you're necessarily all that used to and yet you're still you're still moving through it fairly passionately which is good which is very good okay 
there's almost a fearless energy but i get that it's kind of tempered with you know past experience like it's a fearless energy and yet you're being very smart very wise about it fearless in the sense of facing whatever it is could be blocking you could be holding you back and having the like and with this four of wands here having that solid emotional foundation to really face it you know what i mean it's really good it's really really good you guys okay so now <clears throat> let's look at judgment six of wands in reverse with the two of pentacles i really just feel like ultimately what this is coming all right this is this is reverse because uh, you're about i just heard you're about to reach this victory okay yes all right so cool so let's see let's see let's see let's see let's look a little deeper here the tower whoa the devil okay overall energy is the ace of pentacles very good very good but you have the tower with the devil and the king of wands holy moly um interesting very very interesting i'm gonna um because i want to look at what this something i'm gonna take the top three yes we're gonna take the top three and see if we can get some clarity on the this devil card here four of cups nine of wands <laughs> the knight of wands again very interesting okay so what i just heard is this devil energy is what's blocking you what's stopping you okay this is the fear this is what you're moving through here all right and especially with this knight of wands coming back up again that's definitely what this is telling me this is what you're moving through all right you have four of cups with the nine of wands there there, there is a sense of having been persevering for some time potentially um and uh there's a sense of like maybe unrequited love boredom or rejection even um and and that's kind of what's been holding you back maybe a sense of being rejected maybe feeling like you're not you you're not enough especially with this five of pentacles that's up here um to you're not enough to, to go through what it is you wanted to go through. There has been a very guarded energy with the Nine of Wands, okay? It's almost as if you've, you've seen something that you wanted, but you didn't feel worthy enough or, or whatever. And, you know, now you're kind of like in an energy of, well, no, I'm going to make this happen, okay? Or you're breaking free from whatever chains or whatnot, whatever, that have kept you from going, from getting to this. The tower and the king of wands now the king of wands could be you it could be someone else coming into your life um but i just feel like th there's a sudden there's going to be or there is a sudden shift in the energies for you sorry i just want to adjust the camera a little bit here there's a sudden shift in the energies here for you that you're going through and i feel like you're making this shift yourself it's like it's almost as if with the tower and the and the king of wands energy it's like you're looking right the devil right in the face and saying no more you're not going to hold me back any longer you're doing what it is that you need to do i'm hearing taking strides to really put this devil energy to rest stop you know being so guarded here Okay, I like that. And then with the with the Ace of Pentacles here, right? So this is a this is a brand new start. This is the new life that you're living. This is a seed that could be could have been planted a while ago. That's that's you know germinating gestation just, blah, 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 gestational period, right? That's a good thing. It's a very good thing. I like this. I like this energy for you guys. Okay, so what I want to do now, 
Um, I want to get some closing guidance from Spirit here. In terms of this energy mostly. Like, this was pretty clear and cut. Uh, clear... Uh, clear cut. <laughs> but, um... I do, I want to talk a little bit more about this devil energy here for you. Devil and the Four of Cups. Again, I don't feel like you're really um, holding on to any fear. I really do feel like this is fear from, this is like elements from the past that might, that have been stopping you that you're working through. But I just want to get Spirit's final take or any uh, sort of advice uh, there's the four of cups again with the six of swords okay so yeah you're really you're really moving away from this sense of unrequited love or not feeling worthy not feeling good enough i'm, I'm hearing not believing yourself to be good enough um missing opportunities maybe there was a missed opportunity in the past that created a whole a, 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 a slew of shit right but ultimately it was meant to happen that way because now you're you're able to face it and see it from a different perspective the hanged man um and really you know take the challenge head on this time again, this really feels like for this four of cups and the devil especially with the 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 knight of wands the king of wands and the tower i really feel like this is this is this energy is is moving its way out of your life right now okay but let's get um Yeah, let's get Spirit's final take here and any advice they have for you in terms of moving through this energy, shifting through this energy. Page of Cups in reverse. Ah, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Okay. Overall energy. Uh huh. Yeah, see? The Eight of Pentacles. You really have been doing the work, but also Spirit is advising you to keep doing the work. Okay, with this page of cups f coming out in reverse here, I think there's a, this is a sense of like emotional, oh, um, oh, okay. There is a sense of emotional maturity coming into the picture here, coming into play, okay. Um, <clears throat> but also, the page of cups is in this situation kind of representing a reconciliation. And it's as if someone is is kind of like watching and waiting and trying to figure out how to make some sort of reconciliation. Potentially, that could be you. That could be someone else that you're um, associate or, or connected associated with or connected to. And actually, what I what I'm what I feel like here, what spirit might have been saying, what might, what spirit is kind of saying here, is this. This reconciliation has been in the works for some time. I just heard over a year for some of you. It could have been a situation in which you were really working on yourself and healing and trying to, you know, become a better version of yourself so that one day you could come forward and like, you know, <laughs> I heard make ends meet. <laughs> why do I don't know why I always hear that when why spirit says that. That's kind of funny, but um or or just reconcile like, you know, just make things right, um clear the air, what not whatever. Um yeah, I just heard waiting for the right time to strike. Especially with this king of wands energy, that makes perfect sense. So so what spirit is saying here is d divine timing is at play for sure. They just said that. Um, and you're working through it on your own pace, and it's, you're going to get there because ultimately, <clears throat> if you keep doing this work, if you keep up the work that you've already been doing with the Eight of Pentacles, I'm hearing success is guaranteed. And that's just that's the point. You know what I mean? That's it, you're not really going to be denied that which it is you desire. Okay, the thing about it is you have to do the work. Like Spirit can only do so much for you. You have to take your own responsibility or, or play your own role in it, okay? And that's what I was seeing in the beginning with the, the hermit energy that was in the pre-shuffle, right? This is really good. This is very, very good, you guys. I'm hearing you're on the precipice. Like, this is really about to happen, and you should feel very proud of yourself. Congratulate yourself for what it is you've been through and how far you've come, okay? Don't let the devil stop you any longer. That's what I just heard. Do not let the devil stop you. 
because it's this devil energy that's going to that's working actively working to make you feel like you're you're less than or and, and actually if you are facing some sort of opportunity right now i kind of feel like this devil energy is an energy that's trying to convince you that oh no this isn't going to happen or you're not you're not worthy enough you're not the right person blah blah like blah 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 whatnot like no those are your fears but that's what you need to be facing right now okay all right kids let's get let's close this out here get you some oracle guidance we're going to go with the crystal mandala deck today <clears throat> all righty hmm. all right one last shuffle here Card number 31, Ascended Master, Mother Mary, and Celestite, Unconditional Trust. This is a beautiful card, too. I love this color. I mean, all of these cards are really beautiful, but <clears throat> I love that the color of that one. Here we go. Alrighty. You're gonna, thank you. Okay. We bring you the blessing of unconditional trust. There are times when trust comes easily. Perhaps life is proceeding according to some sort of plan, or you have enough money to, f to feel safe, sufficient prospects on the horizon to feel excited, and enough love in your relationships to feel wanted and valued. Then there are times when, it's hard when it is harder to trust. Perhaps none of the above applies to you. You are lost, feel alone, confused, and without a clear plan or sign of hope ahead. You may be frightened and just want something to lift you out of the darkness and into the light. Your mind, and perhaps your family and friends, might tell you that this is a time that it is crazy to trust. They may tell you that you should try to fix yourself, get real, give up, and get on with life. Do not listen to doubts or negativity in others or yourself. It is safe to trust. The Divine Mother is watching over you and will guide you safely into the new life awaiting you now. And that's exactly what's happening. You're literally being guided into this brand new life. And... and I really feel like, especially with this Four of Wands energy here, that's that came out clarifying you f literally facing your fears and facing a sense of heartbreak and whatnot. You have that spir spiritual foundation to really be in an energy of unconditional trust. It's I'm not now. Now don't get me wrong. It's it's still a little tricky. Sure, okay, and, and but you're you at least have a sense. It's, I just I feel like you have a sense. A strong sense of grounding to say to look at it and this actually could be one of the fears that you're facing right now right looking at it looking at it, at it dead in the face like literally f looking the devil dead in the face and saying you know what this may have tripped me up in the past but i'm not going to let this trip me up now i have faith in myself i have faith in the universe i know what we're doing is right i have unconditional trust so i'm going to move forward and i'm not going to let you stop me that's beautiful You've really come a long way. Congratulate yourself for that. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Okay, let me read this last paragraph. When, the oracle, when this oracle comes to you, it brings guidance. It's safer to trust unconditionally in the divine guiding hand that has that the i'm sorry i'm sorry it's safer to trust unconditionally in the divine guiding hand than the limited perspective of your own mind at this time the divine can and will navigate you safely through your life journey if you allow it you don't have to be afraid you'll handle whatever you need to handle and you'll do it well but you have the opportunity to avoid unnecessary suffering and enjoy a smoother journey by trusting unconditionally that your affairs are going to work out exceptionally well why not take that opportunity for yourself 
and for the divine to manifest itself even more brilliantly through you into the world. Do that for yourself now and the rest of us by trusting that everything is working out. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a really fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye. <laughs>